Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi 5. And this time we are using C Android ROM based on Android 13. Although I did review a ROM based on Android 11 and I still recommend that ROM over this ROM because that one is pretty much a solid ROM for this device. By the way, let's check this one, how it is performing. So Redmi 5 and Android 13. So as you can see here, Xiaomi Redmi 5, the code name of this device is Rosy. And Android version 13, so Android version 9.4. The security patch level is 5th of April 2023. This is an official ROM for this device and they discontinued the ROM right now. So you will not get any update of this ROM. The setting panel as you can see here, pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM. The notification panel is also similar. Nothing new here. In terms of network, internet, Wi-Fi, all those things are working well. Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi also working. In that section, we don't really get anything new here. Pretty much similar to all other ROMs. Notification panel, pretty much similar. In terms of battery, the device is doing pretty well. And I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. With 3000 mAh battery, you can still get around 3 hours of screen on time with this ROM. So pretty good actually. Storage, as you can see here. So the device I got here is the base variant of the device, which got 2 gig of RAM and 16 gig of internal storage. So the performance I am getting here is pretty solid. But if you got the higher variant of this device you might get better experience out of this rom so as you can see here it's still around 6 gb available after installing some application here sound and vibration so sound and vibration working well and we do get part of volume control as you can see here so if you need that the feature is available display setting we do get adaptive brightness working well dark theme and few other settings double tap to sleep and double tap to work working so as you can see here no issue so all these things are working well. Wallpaper and style, pretty much similar. We do get few wallpapers here. So stock wallpapers are good. And there are few other things available here. Accessibility setting. So if you want better experience out of this ROM, I think it's better to disable all sorts of animation. So you can do that from color and motion and you can remove all the animation. The animation will be a little bit faster. The animation will be there but they will be a little bit faster and as you can see here pretty fast but the phone feels smoother and faster in terms of security we do get both face and fingerprint unlock the fingerprint unlock works really well i haven't faced any issue pretty fast and working each and every time the face unlock also pretty good but slower side uh, i would rather use fingerprint not face unlock privacy setting all sorts of things are available Location is working. I did try maps here and working well. Safety emergency setting, password and accounts, Googles. And in terms of customization, we do get an option called C Android settings. So there are tons of customization available. Like you can change the battery icon, you can change the clock position and everything you can do here actually. So quick settings, lock screen, navigation, buttons, user interface. Tons of setting available and you can customize up to your liking. In the system setting, we do get few other things here as you can see gesture options system profile and everything is available so that's all what we are getting in the setting panel nothing much here and pretty much similar to all other LSP based rom in terms of application as you can see this is a vanilla build you have to flash gf separately so i did install few other application here now we are stuck to this much application first of all let's try the camera so the built-in camera is here it is also a gfs Works well, I haven't faced any issue. So as you can see here, pretty fast and working really well. This is a Gcam Go maybe. And you can install regular Gcam here. So regular Gcam is also working. So as you can see here, no issue with that. So the cameras are working well. And some of you actually asked me about FM radio works or not. So unfortunately, FM radio is not working on this ROM. I did try that. FM radio is not working. Although we are getting FM radio with the uh, ROM, but FM radio does not work. We do get game space. And as I said, map is working. In terms of phone call, Bo LTE, Bo Wi-Fi is working, but call recording does not work. In terms of photos, we do get unlimited storage, as you can see here. Unlimited storage is available. But there is no magic editor option although we do get that but it does not work so as you can see here if i try it now try now 
got it and crash that so app is crashed so magic editor is not working one of the unfortunate thing about this rom is that we are not getting any kind of safety net feature because of that thing actually i can't recommend this rom to anyone basically but the rom is working pretty well though so as you can see here device is not certified so you can't use any kind of bank application here and few other application which required security that will not going to work that is one of the downside and whatsapp is working perfectly fine i did try phone call video call everything those are working well youtube is working well and in terms of gaming i'm not going with gaming performance because as you know this is a very low spec device you can't really do any kind of online games here but overall ui on this rom pretty smooth i haven't faced any issue it is working well no major issue at all and if you want a rom based on android 13 you can go with this rom and i will put the rom link in the description below if anyone wants to try but still if you need a better rom than this i would say go with dot os version 5.0 based on android 11 that rom is well optimized for this device and works really well so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one